All right, so I've been playing Mavia for about two months now, and there's just a new update in the Mavia Discord. So I just wanted to touch on a few things real quick. I'm gonna open up my Mavia game right now. So while this is loading up, this new update says that they've basically completed phase one of the Heroes of Mavia beta, and they're gonna be moving on to phase two, and after phase two will be the global launch. So what is phase two of the beta? The milestone will include players joining that may or may not be NFT landowners. Players will still be letting in waves to control the flow of players and monitor data. So if you weren't around for this first wave, you know, every week they would let in a new batch of players. There'll be eight weeks of this phase two, and it'll be used, you know, similar to the first stage to continue the effort of game progress and development, as well as general stress testing for an even wider variety of devices. And so the reason why this is really motivating me to make a video right now is because with phase two, they are resetting the progress for anyone who's playing in wave one. So I wanted to give my thoughts as I maxed out my phase one land before it gets reset. And then the announcement just goes on to say how phase one was a success and how phase two will be starting on September 8th, or at least that's what, what they're planning to do. I guess it was delayed one week. So as we look at my land here, you can see I did max out my land, so I haven't logged in in maybe a week at this point. So you can go through and you can see how your land performed. You know, I was defeated, then I had a few victories, defeat, victory. Quite a bit happened over a week. So there's a couple small things that I was just completing there. So this is basically a maxed out land for the beta. There's no mention that the phase two will allow more of a progression, like a higher town hall and higher higher structures. But this took me, let's see, let's say it's been about two months now. I think it took me about six weeks to max, to essentially max out a level five headquarters along with the majority of the structures on the land. And I can say that while I was progressing through before I hit that max, this game was a ton of fun. I was addicted to it. I was logging in every chance I could get. Unlike Alluvium Zero, the land gameplay for Alluvium, I can actually play on my iPhone here. Um, so that's been great. Alluvium Zero has been kind of a struggle for me because I have to log into my computer every time. But this, while I'm at work, while I'm on the go, I could just load it up anytime. So I was constantly playing this. I played this pretty much nonstop for about that six weeks. Once you hit the top level, then the game kind of loses its appeal because it's not on the blockchain yet. So you can't collect any ruby, you can't extract any real value, uh, even attacking other people's lands, like raiding other lands, just doesn't seem worth it anymore because there's really not anything you can upgrade on yours. But I do believe once you're able to actually earn some ruby, which can be exchanged for, for real crypto, for real money, then I think even at a maxed out land, you're still going to want to come in and log in and play every day because not only is it fun, but when you know you could raid some land and actually get a return from that, that's going to be great. I can't wait for that. I can't wait till I could flip back and forth between Alluvium Zero and Mavia on my iPhone. Uh, but you could just see like the, the art here, the level of detail is, is really great. It's awesome. Everything's moving around. You can click into the armory, can look at, you know, resources. There's actually an oil storage I could have added, but I really didn't need to. You can see your army. I've used up all those structures, defense. There's a lot of things in here that still say coming soon. Decoration, shield, cosmetics. Also, you can look in here for what you can research to make your, your troops better. The heroes down here are the ones that are actually going to be NFTs. Each land is going to come with four heroes that are locked to that land, but then there are additional heroes that you can buy. Maybe you can earn them in some way and you can level up those heroes in their actual NFTs so you could sell them off, trade them, uh, do whatever you want with them, or just use them to progress further and start raiding higher tier lands to win more Ruby. Overall, I'd say if you're familiar with Clash of Clans, which is Obviously, it's been a big hit for the past 10 years. This is very similar. It's a fun game. It's very addictive. It's going to become even more addictive when it's on the blockchain. There's a global chat that I know was being used a lot when I was playing it more consistently. Uh, you can even see in the Discord that people are still excited about this because even though it feels a little old for me because I was able to get into the beta uh, right away, there are new people being let in every week. And there's a lot of people still going through those first few weeks and building up their structures. And it's exciting for them at that point. And so at the end of this eight weeks is what they're proposing here for phase two should be the global launch. And everything will get wiped out and everyone will start clean, start on a clean slate. Everyone will start from... Uh, 
an even playing field. Um, if you're not too familiar here, I'll get into one quick battle so you can just see how the how the rating works before I end this video. So you can see up here in the top left that there's loot available, 35,000 gold, 42,000 oil. Like I said, at this point, I'm not gonna be too concerned about what is available because I don't really need it. But just to show you how it works, it's similar to Clash of Clans, you know? You pick some troops, you let them out. I think these guys will come right through and break open the wall. Let me just get everything out here and then I'll start zooming in. Your hero. The heroes in the private beta here are definitely a little overpowered. And I'm not sure if that's on purpose because they're actually going to be NFTs and they're actually going to have real value, which I wouldn't mind at all. I like that the heroes can uh, make a big difference, but they also make a big difference on defense. So watch how quick this opposing hero can take out my troops. And it looks like mine won, so we're going to move on. So one star is all you need to defeat it. I got two stars. To get three stars, I'm going to have to do 100% clear this land, which is not going to happen, but that's okay. And this should end pretty quick because my, uh, my hero just went down. And that's it. So victory, I got the two stars. Overall, I've really enjoyed this beta so far. I'm pretty excited about it. If you're not aware, they, they have 10,000 plots of NFT land out there. You don't need the NFT land to play, or you did for this phase one. But when it comes to the global launch, you won't need NFT land to play. But that 10K is all they're having. They've already made an announcement that they're capping it at the 10K. So what's available now on, on OpenSea, on the marketplaces, are the only 10K lands that will exist as NFTs in Heroes of Mavia. So obviously we're you know still in a bear market, hopefully breaking out soon. If you're really interested, not financial advice, but if this game pops off anywhere near Clash of Clans, even literally 1% of what Clash of Clans is doing, then you know those NFT lands can pop up in value. I think right now they're sitting just under mint price, which is still pretty good considering the mint price was, at least when the market the crypto market was much higher. But that's it. I hope you like this quick video. I hope I can trim it down to make it really quick. If you have any other questions about Heroes of Mavia or want to see more content on it, just leave a comment down below. You know, share this with your friends. Throw this up in Discord. Whatever you got to do. All right. Thanks for watching. See you later.